Hello and welcome to Rebel and Souls 5 and 5, where we take five minutes to ask five questions to industry leaders. And we have the wonderful Tom Everard with us. He works for FTI Consulting, managing the strategic comms across financial, energy and telco in industries predominantly. So, hello. hello. Um, so people get to know you a little bit better. Right. Uh, I'm going to have you disclose an interesting fact about yourself. Tell us. An interesting fact about myself. Well, I suppose I could start off um, with my failed acting career, which was when back when I was in high school. I was in a number of musicals, um, which didn't really end up being much of anything. But I suppose playing Tony in West Side Story would be um, a relatively oh, yeah. interesting fact about me that uh, people may not know. So. Okay. But now, um, like, like many failed actors, we all go into public relations in some capacity. So here we are. Here we are. So you work in communication and public relations. Tell us, what are you communicating at the moment? Well, I think for us, you know, number, number one, it's starting with our own staff um, and making sure that we're communicating with them and giving them the resources that they need to do their jobs. Uh, and then on the client standpoint, it's certainly... Um, helping clients understand new audiences that they may haven't had to communicate with previously. Um, you know, I think timing has been a big important part of the way in which people or companies communicate with their various stakeholders. Um, and that's employees that can be um, business partners, obviously customers and clients um, and investors. Um, you know, everybody wants to know what the next step is and when we get to move in from a crisis management situation into more recovery, uh, and then hopefully, you know, back into growth at some point. And I think, you know, that the main things that we're counseling clients on is really being transparent. Um, it's okay to say that you don't know at this point. Um, we are telling clients not necessarily to, to uh, offer guidance because of the economic uncertainties. We really don't know, you know, where things are heading. Um, but it really is just about, it's about transparency, compassion, and honesty, I think is really, really the name of the game at this point. Fantastic advice, yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm going to go a bit left field here. Uh -oh. um, you have five seconds to think. Um, if I was to give you a million dollars, what would be a unique virtual experience that, would, that you would create to entertain people at home? Oh, I would do a We Are The World like uh, adaptation because it's <laughs> a favorite song of mine, but I think if we got the original We Are The World group coupled with the one that they did, they did like a 25th anniversary one, uh -huh. and get them all online, and, and we could all sing We Are The World, because everybody needs a little yeah. Just tear a, up right now. A massive global world one. Yeah, let's Quite do cool. it. I'm okay. <laughs> so Tom, what, uh, what excites you about this, uh, the concept of moving towards virtual innovation? Yeah, look, I, one of the things that I found interesting with my staff in particular, and I've, I've encouraged them really to find, everyone has to find their own routine in all of this because we all work, uh, we all have different, different work styles. We all have different um, environments that we're working in. Some people are living in a flat with, you know, four roommates that may be, um, you know, they, they have to time things differently. Uh, people are staying with, you know, live with their parents. Some people live alone. Um, and so I think really what excites me about it, I do think that this is the new reality in some respects. I think, you know, the, the idea of just going back to the office nine to five is going to be not necessarily turned up on its head, but there will definitely be, be behavioral shifts. Yeah. Um, the reason why I think that is because I think there are aspects of this that people are enjoying. You know, I think there's a level of flexibility. I think productivity in some respects has, has probably gone up for people that don't necessarily have to do, you take long commutes. Um, and I think people are, you know, a, a hell of a lot more comfortable with some of the digital platforms that they're using um, to communicate with each other. You know, you're, we're, we're all now much more inclined to, you know, to hit the video camera button than we are, um, you know, the, the, the other bit, you know, the other, you know, the, the audio um, button on our, on our WhatsApp and Microsoft Teams. And I've even got my, uh, my 77 year old mom on house party. So uh, that's, that's, wow. uh, that's no small feat. So I think, I, I think that's, I think that's what's going to happen. I think people are going to be less inclined to go to the office. Um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we're, we're not going to want to be together and, and collaborate and physically be, you know, with each other. I think there's just going to be more um, creativity. You know, there's a, there's a greater sense of, of, of purpose, I think, when you consider 
um, that your, your job doesn't necessarily have to be that nine to five. You know, you can yeah. get up and you can work for three hours in the morning and then take a bit of a break and come back. And um, I actually think, you know, for- The better thing is kind of given us in the, in the future more options. I mean, absolutely. now it's very much limited, but um, there, there, hopefully there will be more flexibility. Yeah. Okay, definitely. we've run out of time, but thank oh, you. Oh, so sorry, much. I'm a bit verbose. <laughs> That was excellent. Thank you, Tom. And All lovely right. to see you. This Thanks has been so Five and Five.